five, four, three, two, one. Only is go. <laughs> <laughs>
I won't stop till I wear the crown Well that's in and hopefully that's the last time in many many years I've got to do that fingers crossed that engine's good Let's go. I'm just telling you to fight for your dreams but it's not what it seems man it's hard to be seen when everybody wants to be king yeah they all want to ring yeah we all want to be free so show me what you got what you bring how you fight in the ring how you take a fucking swing Got heart, are you mean? Got some scars, got some needs. Are you willing to go please? I swear to God. It's amazing what $10 worth of paint can do to a project. It definitely turns non-believers into believers, finally enough. That really cracks me up, but that's how it is. They all let me down. I always fought just to wear the crown. I'm f***ed off at these f***ing clowns. Who were all taught they deserve it now. Till I wear the crown Top dead center, the hard way. Well, it's not really that hard when you've got the head off. Beautiful. So on these early um, side valve V8s all the way up to I think 1947, 46, I know 48 changed, but um, the distributor was mounted at the front right there and I've got a couple in a thousand pieces. So that's one of the jobs I've got to do. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that today though, but yeah, it goes right there. And there's a gear. Just there, if you can see that, it sort of slides into that slot and spins. So, uh, here's my box of fizzies. And the thing with these things was, um, because it was mounted there, um, made it very difficult on the road to do any maintenance on your points and stuff because your fan and your radiator and everything is in the way. Um, and the points are like right inside there. You can't, I don't know if you can even see them. But that mounts like that. And then you have these contacts that go on either side. I don't know, go on there or something, yeah like that, and then your leads come out of there, I'm half tempted to get electronic ignition actually, but I've got everything here to do it, that'll be a full episode I think, so I'm pretty happy with what we've done today, I am second guessing those um, headers, when I was looking at it yesterday off camera, I was thinking is there room for a starter motor? Um, I'm kind of hoping the guy that built those built them with a starter motor in mind. It might just be my imagination, but it looked pretty close. And then obviously the steering's got to fit as well. So that's something I need to have a look at. But we've got the engine 
gearbox diff all connected, nailed in and uh, bolted in and ready to finish putting together. So I hope you enjoyed that. We're getting closer and closer. We'll chuck this bad boy on there. Keep the dust out. That'll need an overhaul. But anyway, that's it from me for this one. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.